So let's talk about sleep. And why is sleep important? Well, most of Americans don't get the amount of sleep that they need, which is seven to eight hours. So I'm gonna give you some easy practical tips that you can use every day to help out with that. The first is stay consistent. Go to bed at the same time every night, wake up at the same time every day. Okay, your circadian rhythm gets affected by that and it'll stay nice and consistent that way. That does mean on the weekends, guys, again, try to get up. If you get up at six every morning, try to get up at six still. Um, the other thing is to avoid blue light late at night. Um, so your retina is really, really sensitive to blue light, which is things like on your cell phone, your computers, your TVs, um, and that will make you stay up later. So essentially your brain, your suprachiasmatic nucleus and the hypothalamus thinks, oh, I should stay up later. There's this really, really bright light that's hitting my eye right now. The other thing is avoid carbohydrates late at night. So carbohydrates increases cortisol levels. Your body also thinks like, hey, I should be staying up later because I'm eating all this food. So try to avoid those chips, those pastas, cereals, all that late at night. Last but not least is to expose yourself to light first thing in the morning. And this can be really helpful. Think about that, those feedback loops. So again, your retina is getting this light in the morning. It's going to shift your sleep-wake cycle earlier, which is great and super helpful for you to go to bed earlier as well. Our circadian rhythm was set by sunrises and sunsets. So adapting to modern life can be really tricky sometimes. But I hope these tips are really helpful for you. This is Clinic Minute with Midwestern University.